And now the starting lineups for tonight's game. First of all, for the Hornets of McGoffin County, under head coach Neil West, 5-10 and 10 on the year. They're 2-2 two and two in the 57th district. At guard is Zach uh, Sparks, 5-10 and a senior. Travis Carty is another guard at 6-1 and a senior. At center, Stephen Lomaster at 6-3 and a senior. At forward, John Shepard, 6-2 and a senior. And at forward, Ryan Hall at 6-2 and a senior. Now for the Paintsville Tigers under head coach Matt Ratliff with a record of three wins, 11 losses. They're 0-4 in the district. At guard is Zach Villapondo at 5'10 and a senior. At guard, Trevor Tiller at 6' and an 8th grader. At guard, Chase Spencer at 5'10 and a sophomore. At forward, Sent Daniel, 6' and a freshman. And at forward, Josh Green, 6'1 and a sophomore. 6' John McGovern was very physical inside, so Josh Green and Seth Daniels need to pick up tonight, and they need, definitely need to have big games. Got a delay. I don't think so. And the tip is controlled by Stephen Lomaster in the backcourt. Hands it off quickly to Zach Sparks. Sparks out front against Villapondo. Tigers open up in a man-to-man -man defensively to the right side to Lomaster. Lomaster on the wing, looking inside, goes inside to Sparks, kicks it back out to Shepard. Shepard dishes off inside, jumper on its way, no good. Rebound underneath, shot blocked. As Shepard tried to put it up, Tigers with the basketball offensive end. As Tiller started to plant to pull up and take a shot, his feet went out from under him, and that's a walk. So that's a tough turnover for the Tigers. Sure is. So McGough County with the basketball back. Sparks out front, goes to the right side. Lamaster loses it. Here's Sent Daniel with it. Daniel takes it coast to coast, too hard off the glass, tipped around, no good. And it's back to McGoffin County. Dustin Caldwell had it. I think they th he thought they were going to try to take a charge, and they yep. didn't. So McGoffin County with it. We played one minute, no score in the game. Bounce pass right side to LaMaster. LaMaster looks inside. LaMaster puts it on the floor, stops his dribble. Head of the key now. That is Hall with it. Ryan Hall penetrates, open gap, takes it, no good on the shot. Rebound Tiller. Tiller gets it off to Villapondo down the left side. V goes in the corner, set Daniel open for three, no good. Rebound tipped around, right to Travis Carty. Carty gives it off to Sparks. Sparks to the foul line, the back out now to Hall. Bounce pass inside. That's Shepard, 10-footer on its way, good. Two to nothing, McGoff County, 6.20 to play first quarter. Dustin Caldwell with it. Gives it to Villapondo in the circle midcourt, sets up the offense. McGoff County in a man-to-man -man also. Here's Tiller. Tiller stops his dribble. Ball stripped away by Lamaster. Right to green, though, and then a foul's called. They're going to get Stephen Lamaster. You're right. Both teams have opened up in a man, and both teams are very aggressive in that man. 6.09 to play, first quarter, two to nothing. McGough County Caldwell under his own basket, goes to Green. Green puts it on the floor one time, kicks it to Tiller off the wing for three, no good. Rebound comes down to Hall. Hall gets it off to Sparks. Sparks to the right side, here's Lamaster off the wing for three, air ball, comes down to Caldwell. Caldwell brings it up for Paintsville, moving from right to left, right corner, Daniel. Daniel back out to Caldwell. Caldwell around to Tiller, left side now to Villapondo. V looks inside, can't go there. Now he does to Green at the foul line. Kicks it off to Tiller. Tiller steps in the paint, goes to the hole, and they're going to wipe off the basket. And it's going to be a block underneath. And that's going to be on Travis Cordy. So the Tigers will inbound under their own basket. That'll be Tra uh, Trevor Tiller. With 5.35 to play in the first quarter. Tiller all the way out to Villapondo at midcourt. V back to the right corner, Tiller. Tiller inside for Green, it's loose. It's still loose. And one of the Hornets has it on his back, jump ball called. Yep. I think that's Hall. 
Nope. It was uh, Sparks in there scrapping for it. And, and just, the arrow gets it back to McGoffin. Just as we expected, both teams are on the floor playing real aggressive. Inbound right corner via Pondo out to Tiller. Fires a three. Good. Trevor Tiller gives the Tigers a 3-2 lead. 5-10 to play first quarter. Zach Sparks into the front court from McGoffin County. Works to the right side. Around the screen picked up by Daniel and the foul on Seth. That's his first. Tried to hedge there a little bit, but didn't get out far enough and used his knee and picked up the foul. So Stephen Lamaster, front court near side inbound. Goes in the corner, back down inside to Shepard. Eight footer, good. John Shepard, all four for the Hornets. Tiller, right side of the paint. He'll take an eight footer off the glass, won't go. Rebound Shepard. Gives it off to Sparks, pushes it up the floor. Sparks stops head of the key, right side to Hall. Hall back out to Sparks, around to LaMaster. LaMaster back out to Hall, back to LaMaster. LaMaster down inside. Cardi with the jumper, good. Travis Cardi with his first basket, 6-3 to three, McGoffin County. Inside, bounce pass via Pondo to Green. Baseline jumper, no good. Rebounds out of bounds, back to Paintsville. Here's Ricky Prater, a 5'9 senior for McGoffin County. Coldwell to inbound under his own. Coldwell still looking, lobs it up. No one there. It's a matter of who gets to it. And Cardi gets it, and the Hornets get it back. Inside, Shepard. Shepard, turn around, jumper again, too hard this time. Rebound via Pondo. Green and pushed him out to about 10 feet that time. Here's three by V, no good. Rebound, Sparks. Sparks, front court. Left side, spins back, kicks it out. Prater for three, front of the iron, no good. And a foul underneath. Ryan Hall, that's his first, number three on McGoffin County. That'll get Wesley Miller up for the McGoffin County Hornets. 3.45 to play first quarter. Via Pondo, head of the key. V to the right side of the foul line, bounce pass inside, it's loose. Green comes up with it and stripped away again. And Paintsville keeps it. So Trevor Tiller to inbound this time. Goes all the way out into the backcourt to Via Pondo, who tried to save it. Did he catch that in front court? Caught it in the front court and then carried yeah. himself over, but he momentum had him going. Right. He tried to tried to save it and got out of bounds on him. So another Tiger turnover. Six to three, McGoffin County, 320 to play first quarter. Zach Sparks gives it up right side to Cardi. Cardi against Daniel, puts it up, no good, and he's fouled. Josh Green on the block. That's number one on Green, number two on the Tigers. That will put Travis Cardi, the 6'1 senior, to the free throw line. His first one is good. Shea Spencer into the game for the Tigers. Spencer, a 5'10 sophomore. Here's Joe Minix, a 5'9 senior for the Hornets. Replacing Ryan Hall. Second shot by Carty is good. Here's Seth Howard. A six-foot senior. Bunch of changes for the Hornets right here all of a sudden. They're up eight to three. Here's Green out front to Daniel. Left side via Pondo. V moves it out on top, gets in the circle at midcourt at 250 to play in the first quarter. Goes to Tiller. Tiller left side of the foul line. Good. 
Tiller with all five for the Tigers, eight to five. McGoffin County leading, 2.40 to play first quarter. Zach Sparks left side, gives it up to Prater. Prater stops, foul line, takes a jumper, but he walked. Here's Dylan Brown for Paintsville, replacing Seth Daniel. Via Pondo into the front court. Goes to Brown, left corner. That's Tiller. Tiller back to V. To the foul line, Green. Back out on top to V. To the right side, Spencer on the wing. Back to Via Pondo to Tiller. Tiller, right side to Brown. Brown out to Spencer. Spencer stops, back to Brown. Brown inside to Green on the block right side. Jumper good. Nice shot by Josh Green. Tigers cut the lead to one at 8-7 with a minute 50 to play in the first quarter. LaMaster and Hall and Shepard. Cardi waiting to check in. Here's a foul. That may be Josh Green. Dylan Brown. Dylan Brown. That's his first. That will put Zach Sparks to the free throw line. First shot by Sparks is no good. Now those four will get back in the game for McGough County. I'm sure Coach Matt Ratliff is real happy that uh, Tiller has started off well. He hadn't, yeah. hadn't shot the ball well the last couple of games. Second shot by Sparks is good. 9-7 to McGough County, a minute 40. Via Pondo. Goes to Tiller. Tiller looking inside, left corner now to Brown. Brown puts it on the floor. Goes right side to Spencer. Spencer down on the baseline, puts it up, and a foul is called. That's going to be on Cardi. That'll be his second if it is. Shay Spencer will shoot two. So the first one by Spencer, no good. Seth Daniel and Dustin Caldwell back in for Paintsville. Wesley Miller back in for McGoffin County. Second shot by Spencer is good. And it's a one-point lead by McGoffin County. 9-8, a minute 20 to go in the first quarter. Zach Sparks, Spencer comes out on him. Sparks spins down the lane, lost control of the basketball. And they're going to call foul out front. Could have been a charge in inside, could have been a lost basketball to Paintsville, but they're going to call a hack out front. Yeah, I think Dylan Brown got, got called on that foul, and it's his second. Here's Josh Green in, replacing Brown. Lumaster to inbound, right side of his own basket. All the way out to midcourt, Zach Sparks, left side to Hall. Inside on the block, shot is blocked as Miller tried it inside. So the Hornets will inbound again under their own. Stephen Lamaster. Lamaster bounce pass left side to Zach Sparks, out around to Hall, back to Sparks. He fires a three, air ball. It's loose, it's out of bounds, and McGoffin's going to keep it. So again, Sparks gets it from LeMaster, left side, back to LeMaster, out of bounds, and McGoffin will keep it again. LeMaster again under his own, inside to Miller. He's doubled up, kicks it out to Hall, head of the key for three, no good. Rebound is Zach Sparks. Sparks back out to Hall, inside, Shepard, eight-footer, good. Here's Tiller, left side. Tiller moves out on top, goes to Spencer, 40 seconds, right side, Caldwell. Caldwell back out 
to Tiller, right side. Here's Daniel for three. Good. Nice shot. Zach Sparks to Hall to LeMaster. To Sparks to the foul line. Miller. Miller. Bounce pass inside to Hall and he walked with it. It's a nice play they had, but he dr did drag his foot. Here's Joe Menix back in, replacing LeMaster. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Tiller, right side of the paint. And a, another foul. He's going to get the foul before the charge, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's a pretty obvious charge there. Joe Menix gets his first personal. Killer into the backcourt to Spencer, seven seconds. Back across the timeline, right corner, down inside the green, turnaround jumper is good. As the horn sounds, we've completed one with the score. Paintsville 13, McGoffin County 11. Start the second quarter, Stephen LeMaster near side midcourt. Goes in the backcourt to Zach Sparks. Into the offensive end, via Pondo picks him up. Tiger staying that man-to-man. -man. Right side, LeMaster on the wing. LeMaster out to Shepard. Shepard puts it on the floor. Works to the right side now. Tries to get it to Sparks. Does. Pulls up 15-footers blocked by via Pondo. And that's his first personal. Zach Sparks back to the free throw line, one of two from there. And the line for McGuffin County, number three, Zach Sparks, shooting two. His first one is short, no good. Here's Ricky Prater back in, replacing Wesley Miller. For Miller. Second shot is good by Sparks. 13-12, Tigers on top, they have the basketball. Left side, Tillers open off the wing for three, no good. Rebound, Daniel back up and in. Seth now with five in the game. Prater to Sparks. Sparks right side of the paint, takes a shot, gives it off to LeMaster instead, and a foul underneath. Seth Daniel gets the personal. That's his second. Fouls have not been shy. No, we got 11 already. Stephen LeMaster to the free throw line, and it's good. Here's Joe Menix back in, replacing Prater. Here is Dylan Brown replacing Daniel. Stephen LeMaster with another free throw to come. It's on its way, good. 15-14, Tigers by one via Pondo. Walks it up in the backcourt, cross the timeline. Left side to Brown, bounce pass for Green, it's loose. Zach Sparks comes up with it. Races to the other end. Sparks to the hole, got it. And the Hornets take the lead at 16-15. Left side, Green in the corner. Back out to Caldwell. Caldwell puts it on the floor, stops his dribble now. Over the top to the right side, Brown. And he walked with it. Six turnovers for the Tigers. 6.39 still to play in the first half. 16.50. McGoffin County with the lead. They got the basketball back after the turnover. Zach Sparks to the right side, hands it off now to Medix. Minix hands it off to Hall. Hall pulls up, fires a three, short. Rebound, Josh Green. Gives it to V Pondo. We head the other way. V into the front court. Stops, head of the key. V works left side of the paint down. Now he brings it out to the circle of midcourt. V Pondo to the right side to Brown. 
Brown out to Tiller, back to Brown. Bounce pass inside for Green, knocked away. And a foul is going to be called on Shepard. That's his first. Six fouls on both teams from this point on. Both teams will be shooting the bonus. So Dustin Caldwell to inbound again under his own basket. Caldwell all the way out midcourt to Viapondo. V stops his dribble, goes to the right side to Tiller. Tiller penetrates, pulls up, eight-footer block. Ball slapped around, and LeMaster comes up with it. Gives it off to Sparks, left side. And a foul's called as Ryan Hall made his move. Caldwell lost his footing. And that will be Caldwell's first. You know, that's about the third player we've seen lose their footing out there tonight. Tiller, and then McGoffin County, someone started to make a shot, and now Caldwell. Ryan Hall at the line. It's good. 17-15, McGoffin County, 5.51 to play in the half. Second shot is good. Here's Wesley Miller in for Shepard. Via Pondo walks it up again for Paintsville, trailing by three. Right side, Caldwell fires the three. We're tied. Three point basket by Nathan Caldwell. Here's Zach Sparks, front court. Sparks to the right side, stops on the wing, stops his dribble now. Goes to Miller at the foul line, left side to Hall, goes baseline, cut off, pulls up, and he must have lowered his shoulder. That's number two on Ryan Hall. Here's Ricky Prater back in for McGoffin County. 5.20 to play, first half, we're tied at 18. Paintsville with the basketball via Pondo, right side to Caldwell. Back out to Brown, bounce pass inside to Green, ball's loose, LeMaster comes up with it. Here's Zach Sparks into the front court. Sparks pulls up, Shia three, no good. Rebound, Brown clears out right side to Caldwell, down the right side. Dustin pulls up, gives it off to Brown. He'll fire a three, no good. Rebound, LeMaster. LeMaster gives it up to Zach Sparks at 4.45 to play in the half. Spark stops his dribble, goes to Prater. Prater down inside for LeMaster at his feet. Brown comes up with it. Here's Via Pondo quickly into the front court. V to the right side, gives it up in the corner to Brown for three. No good. Rebound tipped around. It comes down to McGoffin County. That's Ricky Prater. Gives it to LeMaster across the timeline. Stevens open for three, takes it. Air ball out of bounds, and the Tigers get it back. And with that, nil. West will take a quick timeout. 421 to play. First half. We're tied at 18. After that three by LeMaster took a quick timeout. And the Tigers get the basketball back. Brown. And out front with it. Inside to green on the block right side. Jumper off the glass too hard. Rebound, Stephen LeMaster. LeMaster gives it back out to Sparks. To the left side, Prater. Prater foul line jumper, no good. Got his own, though. Ball's loose. Now Caldwell has it. Caldwell brings it up for the Tigers. On top to Tiller. Tiller in the paint. Stops. Back out to Caldwell. Inside. Nice through, pass. Yep, through the hands of Brown. I don't think he was expecting it. Shepard. And Cody Sparks into the game. Number 10, Corey Clark for Mayfield, number 13. Still tied at 18, 3.30 to play first half. McGough County with the basketball, bounce pass. Left side to Medix. Medix goes to Shepard, right side of the paint. Down on the block. Shepard walked with it. There's been a number of turnovers and fouls in this basketball game. McGoffin has seven turnovers. Paintsville has eight. There's been 14 fouls. 14 fouls, 15 turnovers. Via Pondo inside the green, slap back to B. 
V down the lane. Ball slapped loose right to Tiller. Now it's loose again. V gets it over in the left corner. And he stepped out of bounds with it. Three minutes to go in the half. We're still tied at 18. Zach Sparks. Shy of the foul line, jumper no good. Rebound, Josh Green. Off to Shea Spencer. Right side via Pondo. Oh, Caldwell was wide open. V on the wing, right side inside to Green on the block. Fakes, works for a shot, puts it up and in. Josh Green now with six, his 20 to 18. Paints fall on top, 2.30 to play in the half. Into the front court, Zach Sparks with it. Sparks to the right side. That's Medix, ball's loose, Green comes up with it. Off to Via Pondo. V doubled, thought he was going to get away with it, but he didn't. Got it up against his body. Now we're up to 18 turnovers for the two teams. Stephen LeMaster to inbound across the way, goes into Zach Sparks. Sparks against Villapondo. Sparks in the paint, kicks it out to Minix. Minix takes a jumper, good. Joe Minix with his first points. We're tied at 20. Right side, Jay Spencer back to V. On top, Tiller for three. No good, high off the iron. That's Josh Green with the board. Gets it back out to Via to uh, Via Pondo. Via Pondo on the wing right side. V stops, goes in the corner to Tiller. Back out to V. Tries to go inside, intercepted. That's Shepard with it. Gives it back to Sparks. Sparks pushes it into the front court. A minute 30 to play. First half. Sparks inside for Shepard. Shepard has the ball shot loose. And Shea Spencer comes up with it. Spencer out front to Villaponto. Minute 15. We're tied at 20. V left side Caldwell goes baseline. Caldwell to the hole. No good. Fell off. Rebound LeMaster. Back to Zach. Sparks to the right side. Back inside. Shepard. No good. Rebound. Shea Spencer. He'll hold it up inside a minute. Via Pondo left side to Tiller. Tiller in the paint. Goes to the hole. Off the glass. Good. Trevor now with seven in the game. It's a two-point paintsville lead. Zach Sparks dances down the paint. No good, but draws the foul. And that's going to be Josh Green. His second. I'm sure Coach is going to pull him out. He don't want him to pick up his third. He's looking. Zach Sparks, two of four from the line. And it's good. Josh Hall in for Paintsville. Here's Miller in for McGoffin County along with Seth Howard. Zach Sparks with one more free throw. It's on its way. No good. Rebound Tiller. 22-21. Paintsville by one with the basketball. Tiller left side of the paint. Goes down on the block. Puts it up. It good. goes in. Count it and he's fouled. <laughs> Foul is on Seth Howard. Three-point lead now for Paintsville. Trevor Tiller to the line for the first time tonight. And it's no good. Rebound Miller. Gets it off to Sparks. 28 seconds. Sparks into the front court. Bounce pass. Good pass inside to Howard for the basket. And he's fouled. Sparks found him and he was open. Josh Hall gets the foul. Seth Howard, the six foot senior. Free throw no good. Hall with the rebound. Off to Tiller. 19 seconds. Tiller in the front court now. Left side of the paint. Drives down on the block. Puts it up off the glass. Good. Right side. Here's a three. Cody Sparks. No good. Tipped up by Zach Sparks. No good. 
And the rebound, Paintsville via Pondo from midcourt on its way, no good. As we're at halftime with the score, Paintsville 26, McGoffin County 23. We're about Daniel Tiller and Green for Paintsville. The Tigers will inbound. Dustin Caldwell inbounds into the backcourt to via Pondo. B goes left side to Tiller. Tiller penetrates off the baseline and a foul before the shot. Well, we're going to pick up right where we left off, are we? <laughs> it looks that way. Hopefully they'll cut down the turnovers. Stephen LeMaster gets his second personal foul. Caldwell to inbound under his own basket. Caldwell looks in, still looking, and lobs it up to Green. Left side of the paint. Green back to Villapondo. Foul line jumper, no good. Rebound comes down to Cardi. Cardi hands it off to Zach Sparks. He gives it to Hall left side. Back out to Sparks now. Sparks works out on top. Sparks bounce pass right side. That is to Hall. Here is uh, Shepard jumper. No good from the foul line. Cardi with the rebound. Back up. Rolls off. No good. Rebound comes down to St. Daniel. Daniel clears out now to Tiller. Tiller down the left side. Tiller on the wing. Makes his move down for the basket. No good. And a foul is called. And that foul is going to be on Cardi. That's his third. And Trevor Tiller, 0 of 1 from the line, goes there. And it's good. 12 points now for Tiller in the game, 27-23. Sack one too hard, rebound set, Daniel. Daniel works, puts it back up, but he won't. It's still good to see Seth get in there and get those offensive rebounds. So the Hornets get it back, trailing by 4, 27-23. Zach Sparks, bounce pass, left side, LeMaster. He looks inside, Daniel on him, gets it into Shepard, off the block, left side, shot no good. Set Daniel with the rebound, clears out to Tiller, down the right side via Pondo. B on the wing, back out to Tiller, fires a three out front, no good, rebound, comes down to Shepard. Gives it to Sparks, Sparks races into the offensive end right side. Spins, lost the basketball, regains on the wing, goes down in the corner to Hall. Back out to Sparks, head of the key now to LeMaster, back to Sparks. Sparks out front, works left side of the paint now, down low to Shepard, runs it down on the baseline. Shepard back out to Sparks, 6.20 to go in the third. Sparks works right side of the paint now, goes to the hole, no good, but he's fouled, and that's going to be on Tiller, and for Tiller, that's number one. Zach Sparks, three of six from the line tonight. Five points in the first half. Number three, Zach Sparks, shooting two. And his first one is good. 27-24. Second one to buy Sparks is good. 27-25, 6-15 play third quarter. V up Pondo across the timeline. V out front, goes to the foul line, stops, out to Caldwell. Down in the right corner now to Seth Daniel into Green. Green stops, works for a shot, ball stripped away, it's out of bounds. Back to McGoffin County. Josh started to grab it, and didn't do it, and the official said he touched it last. 27-25. Both teams still in the man. Yep. I, I thought with the number of fouls, somebody might go to a zone, but so much for me thinking. Here's Shepard, and the pass kicked. McGoffin will keep it. LaMaster to inbound under his own basket. Tries to go inside, slapped away by Green, right to... Zach Sparks from the corner for three, no good, rebound Daniel. Gets it off to Tiller down the left side. Tiller stops on the wing, pops a three, no good, rebound. Comes down to Sparks. Sparks quickly into the front court, numbers with the Tigers, he holds it up. Kicks it out to LeMaster. LeMaster inside to Carty for the basket. Travis Carney now with six, we're tied at 27. 5.15 to play third quarter. Here's Via Pondo. 
Lee in the circle. Now he works to the right side, gives it up to Tiller in the corner. Back out to Caldwell on top. He's open. He takes it for three. No good. Rebound comes down to Cardi. Cardi gives it up to Sparks. Sparks right side to Hall. Hall on the wing. Back out to Sparks. Around to LaMaster. Lobs it inside to Cardi. Cardi again from the same spot. Got it. And McGoffin County on top. 29-27 with 4.40 to play in the third quarter. Left side Tiller. Tiller on the wing. Looks inside for Green. Finds him. Green kicks it out to Daniel for three. No good. Rebound Cardi. Cardi holds it up. Now he gives it up to Sparks. Sparks again quickly into the front court. Stops out of the key. Gives it up to LaMaster. Back out to Sparks. Over now to Hall. Left side against D Dustin Caldwell. Down inside on the block to Shepard. Over Green. Shot no good. Rebound is down to Daniel. Daniel now to Caldwell. Caldwell splits up here off the glass too hard. Rebound Cardi again. Four minutes to go. Third quarter. Two-point lead to McGoffin County. Sparks goes down in the right corner, gives it back to LaMaster, and he walked with it. I think Coach Ratliff, yep, he called a timeout. And with that, Paintsville takes a timeout, 3.57 to play, third quarter. It's McGoffin County 29, Paintsville 27. And the Tigers will inbound in the backcourt across the way. Leah Pondo walks it up. Seth or Shea Spencer will check in. Next dead ball for Paintsville. Left side Caldwell. Goes out to Daniel. Inside for Green. Green makes his move off the glass. Good. Josh Green now with eight more tied at 29. Zach Sparks walks it up this time. Sparks. Spins to the foul line. Takes a jumper. Good. Zach now has nine points in the game. Right corner. Here's Daniel. Daniel inside nice green pass. by himself. Lays it up and in. 31-31. Sparks. In the circle midcourt goes to LaMaster on the wing left side. Daniel on him. LaMaster back to Sparks. Sparks right side. He drives to the hole. Got it. Zach Sparks. Here's Via Pondo to the right side. Caldwell off the wing for three. No good. Rebound. Zach Sparks. Sparks quickly into the front court now. Pulls up, fires a three, good. Five-point lead for McGoffin County, 36-31. Here's Tiller. Tiller goes left side, baseline, cuts back in, off the glass, falls off. Rebound, Ryan Hall. Gets it off to Sparks, 2-10 to go in the third. Sparks goes down in the right corner, back out to Hall on the wing. On top to LaMaster, left side to Sparks. Sparks against Via Pondo. Sparks works on top, left side to LaMaster. LaMaster back out to Sparks, a minute 50. Sparks holds the basketball. Cuts back to the foul line. Gives it up now to Hall. Around to LaMaster on the wing right side. Back out to Hall. On top to Sparks, a minute 40. 36-31, McGoffin County with a lead. Here's Sparks. Works right side and a whistle, and he carried the basketball. That gets Brown and Spencer. In for Paintsville, Shepard and Prater for McGoffin County. Also, Minnick's going to check in. John Shepard, number 30, Joe Minnick, number 41, Zach Harvey. So Zach Villapondo walks it up a minute 30 to play, third quarter. Goes to Spencer on the wing right side. Down in the corner to Brown. Back out now to Tiller. On top to Villapondo, left side to Spencer. Fakes, goes baseline, running jumper, rolls off. Rebound LaMaster. LaMaster gives it up to Sparks, a minute 10. 
Sparks walks it up in the backcourt. Sparks, offensive end. Right side of the paint. Gives it up to LaMaster now. LaMaster. To Medics. Back to LaMaster. To Sparks on top. Inside a minute to play. Third quarter. Sparks steps in the circle at midcourt. Right side now is Sparks against Villapondo in the paint. Takes a fader from 10. No good. Rebound comes down to Tiller at 37 seconds. Left side front court. Villapondo over in the corner. Spencer for three. No good. Rebound comes down to Shepard. Shepard gives it up to Sparks. Right side. That's Prater to the hole. No good. And Dylan Brown has the rebound. 20 seconds. Lead pass to Daniel. Daniel on the other end lays it in. Seven points now for Seth Daniel, and it's a three-point lead for McGoffin County. Here's Sparks front court, eight seconds. Sparks over to LeMaster, fires a three, short again, as the clock will stop at 1.5 seconds. That's a couple of times, and maybe three times, we've seen Stephen LeMaster take the long jumper tonight and be short. Looks like it's a little bit outside his range. Inbound to Spencer. Spencer from midcourt gets it off as that's it for the third quarter with a score. McGoffin County 36. The Paintsville Tigers 33. And they're playing at the Expo Center this year. Yep. Here we go. Fourth quarter. Bounce pass to Hall, left side. Hall back out. Gives it to Medix. Medix foul line jumper short. Gets his own right side. Inside. Gives it to Cardi. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Cardi again. No good. And a foul. Josh Green. That's his third. Josh Green. His third. Team number two. Travis Carty, two of two, he has eight points in the game, and it's short. Second shot for Carty is good. 37-33, McGoffin County, 7.35 to play. Left side, Caldwell. Head of the key to Daniel, he'll take the three, good. Set Daniel with 10 points. Cuts the lead to one. Medics to LeMaster. Daniel comes out on him. Stops his dribble. Down on the right side to Shepard. Shepard turn around jumper. Short no good. Rebound Daniel. Gives it off to Via Pondo. V down the left side. Stops on the wing. Moves out on top. Head of the key. Left side now to Daniel. Daniel looks inside. Goes to the foul line now to Tiller. Back to Daniel. Daniel inside to Green on the block. Green works for a shot, not there. Now he'll take it anyway, no good. Rebound comes down to LeMaster, 6.50 to play. Left side to Hall. Hall front court, head of the key to LeMaster, down low to Shepard. Shepard cut off, kicks it out to Medix. He'll fire a three, good. Joe Medix now with five in the game, a four-point lead for McGoffin County. Here's Villapondo with Menix on him. Over to Caldwell on the wing left side looking inside. Can't go there. Goes over the top right side to, to Daniel. Daniel back out to Villapondo. V goes to the right side. Menix on him. V down inside nice to pass. Green. Green had him on his hip. He found him. Foul's going to be on Cardi. That's his fourth. Did a nice job sealing him off. Yep, he sure did. He had him right where he wanted him. Josh Green, 10 points in the game. First trip to the free throw line. He'll shoot two. His first one is good. Zach Sparks back in the game, replacing Carty. Second shot by Green is short, no good. Rebound, Shepard. 40-37 to McGoffin County with the lead at 6-10 to play in the game. Sparks in the front court, out front in the circle dribbling the basketball. Now he works to the right side. Sparks stops, fires a three, no good. Rebound comes down to Tiller. Clears out, right side to Caldwell, front court. 
Caldwell stops, back out to Tiller. Tiller down the lane, off the glass, good. Excellent drive, nice strong penetration. Tiller now with 14, a one point lead for McGoffin County, 540 to play. Sparks again in the circle out front. Works to the right side now, stops his dribble, looking inside, he finds Lamaster. Lamaster on the block and he's fouled, Seth Daniel. That's number three on Daniel. Spainsville's got three on Josh Green and three on Seth Daniels, both of their post players. Stephen Lamaster, two points in the game, back in the first half on free throws. And it's good. 41-39. Second one to buy, LeMaster is good. Forty-two thirty-nine, McGoffin County, five twenty to play. Here's Caldwell, down in the corner, left side to Daniel, back out to Caldwell on the wing, inside to Green. Green puts it on the floor, pass off to Viapondo, back to Green, foul line jumper, no good. Rebound comes down to Zach Sparks. Front court for Sparks, right side, cuts back, backs it out now, five minutes to play. Sparks again in the circle of midcourt. Sparks to the right side, picked up by Daniel. Pass inside to LeMaster, off the glass, good. Back to a five-point lead for McGoffin County, 440 to go. Right side, Caldwell. On the wing, stops. Back out to V, around two, Daniel, he'll fire a three, high off the iron, rebound, Zach Sparks. Sparks into the front court now. Sparks again stops in the circle, 420 to play. Sparks to the right side, stops on the wing, V Pondo on him, tries to get it into LeMaster, and he does, but a foul. Fouls on Seth Daniel, that's his fourth. Here's Dylan Brown back in, replacing Daniel. 4.15 to play. McGoffin did bound under their own basket. Right side to Sparks, around to Hall. He shoots a three, short. Rebound tip to Sparks. Sparks moves out on top now, 4.05 to play. Sparks dribbles in the circle. 44-39, McGoffin County leading. Bounce pass left side to Hall on the wing. Over the top to Shepard. Shepard on the other side. Shot blocked and a foul. That's Josh Green. Josh Green, that's his four. He now has four. Foul number 24, Josh Green to hit four. John Shepard, six points on the first half. First trip to the line tonight. And it's no good. Forty-four thirty-nine to McGoffin County. Second shot. Too hard. Rebound tipped around to Caldwell. Two big misses for Paintsville. Nice. Yep. They needed those two be, to be missed. Here's Brown inside the green. Left side. Tiller goes baseline. Tiller fakes. Puts it up. Shot blocked. Ryan Hall gets the block and the rebound. Lead pass to Medics. Medics in the front court. Back to LaMaster. Here's Zach Sparks with it. 325 to go. Sparks against Via Pondo, works to the right side, stops his dribble, bounce pass into LaMaster on the block right side, puts it up and good. And with that, McGoffin County takes a timeout. They go out to a seven-point lead, their biggest lead of the game. They take a timeout. So the Tigers inbound, walk it up in the back court. 46-39, into the front court is Tiller. Tiller head of the key, goes left side via Pondo, back out to Tiller. Tiller down the lane, cut off, out to Brown, he's open, he takes the three, good. The big three there, nice offense there where they let Tiller just drive and either take it to the rack or kick it out. 46-42, 2.45 to play, left side to Hall. Inside to LaMaster. LaMaster off the glass too hard. Rebound Tiller and a foul on LaMaster. That'll be number three on LaMaster. Foul is on number 23. Stephen LaMaster hits third. 
Travis Carty checking back in to replace LeMaster. Tiller again into the front court. In the paint, good pass underneath to Villapondo. Kicks it out to Brown. He fires a three left side. This time, no good. Rebound comes down to Shepard. Gives it off to Zach Sparks. 2.20 to play. Sparks in the circle of midcourt. Villapondo comes out on him. Sparks to the right side. Stops his dribble. Back out to Hall. Hall around the screen. Hall pulls up. 15-foot jumper. No good. Rebound. And a foul. Bow is on Cardi. Nope, Shepard. That's his second. Set Daniel back in, replacing Brown at 2.05 to play. McGoffin leading by four. Trevor Tiller to Daniel. Right side via Pondo. V. To the foul line, bounce past the green left side, and a foul. That's away from the basketball. That's on Ryan Hall, his third. Down to a minute 50 to play. Tiller, head of the key to Daniel. Out to Via Pondo. Right side, Caldwell. On top, Daniel to Tiller. Tiller left side, pulls up, 10-footer. No good, and Daniel's over the back. Set Daniel, that's number five. And Dylan Brown knew it. He was already on his way to the scorer's table. Set Daniel will foul out, scoring 10 points tonight, a minute 35 to play. Into the front court now. Here's Zach Sparks with Via Pondo on him. V playing sticking right there with him. LaMaster has it now. Brown on him. LaMaster kicks it out to Hall and a timeout is going to be called. I believe, I believe Neil West got a timeout there. And he did. 116 to play in the front court. Goes in the back court to Zach Sparks gets away from Via Pondo. Right side goes to the hole off the glass. No good, but draws a foul. That's on Brown, and for Dillon, that's number three. That's going to put Zach Sparks back to line five of eight from there tonight. 14 points. Short, no good. Watching the action during the timeout at the scorer's table. Looked like McGoffin has two timeouts. Paintsville has four. Zach one is good. 47-42. Via Pondo, right side, pass intercepted by Cardi. Cardi needs help, tries to get it out to Sparks. He does inside a minute. Sparks is going to be fouled as him and Via Pondo got the feet tied up at midcourt. Number two on Via Pondo. And Matt Ralph takes a timeout, 57.7 seconds to play. It's hard. We'll start around 540, an early start. Zach Sparks to shoot the bonus. And it's good. That one still keeps it at two possessions. Yep. This is a big one. This is a big one. And he got it. 49-42. Here's Tiller. Left side. To the rim. Good. And he's fouled. Sparks gets his first personal at 50 seconds. Now Tiller will go to the line with the clock stopped. And that's real important. That's a nice drive. Picked up the foul and he's going to go for the three point the old fashioned way. No good. Rebound Caldwell. He puts it up. Got it. 
And the Tigers take a timeout, 46.6 seconds to play in the game. It's McGoffin County, 49, Paintsville, 46. Mr. Tiger, full court pressure. LeMaster gets it into Hall. Back to LeMaster, 44 seconds. Back to Hall, to LeMaster, still in the backcourt. Across the timelines, LeMaster and a whistle. Caldwell. Nope. Fiapondo. Stephen Lamaster, 4 of 4 from the line to shoot the bonus. And it's good. Lamaster with 9 points, 5 of those from the line. Second one is short. Rebound green. 50-46. Caldwell, front court to Green. Green, left side to Brown. Brown, off the block. No good, but a foul. Cardi with the foul. That's his fifth. He will foul out, scoring nine points tonight with 28 seconds to play. Dylan Brown to the line. Again, the Tigers with the clock stopped. Now that he can't shoot his free throws yet, still hadn't put the, he's still waiting. He's going to use his whole minute. They gave him the ball. He was ready to fire. He was ready. Shea Spencer in for Josh Green. Joe Menix back in. That's a smart move right there because Josh can't foul. He That's has right. four. Here's Brown at the line. It's no good. Rebound via Pondo. And Brown will get one more. Second one by Brown. No good. Rebound. That's Sparks with it. Still in the backcourt. And he's going to be fouled by Caldwell. And that's number two on Dustin. Coming at 22 seconds to play. Green checks back in. Not sure I'm putting nope. him at the free throw, up there on the free throw line either. He's 8 of 11. 17 points in the game for Sparks. His first one is good. Now Green gets back in, back to five-point lead for McGoffin. 22 seconds. Second shot, Sparks is good. 52-46. Tiller in the back court across the timeline, 18 seconds. Goes to be a Pondo for three. No good. The rebound tipped around. It's out of bounds. And it's going to McGough County at 10.9 seconds. Inbound intercepted by Via Pondo. Shot no good. Sparks with the rebound. And he's fouled in the backcourt at 6.7 seconds. Fouls on Brown, his fourth. Zach Sparks back to the line. And it is good. 53-46. Second shot by Sparks is good. 54-46. Here's Tiller to Caldwell. To Tiller. Fires a three. Good. And that's it. 54-46. Or 49, 54-49 with the Tiller three-pointer. 
McGough and County, a five-point winner over the Paintsville Tigers, 54-49. We're back in two minutes. You're listening to Paintsville Tiger basketball.